Hi, it's December 30th, 2021, and I'll be posting this on uh, January 1st, so Happy New Year. Let's hope it's a good year. 2022 was, has a very low bar that it has to get over to be better than the prior year, so let's hope for better days ahead. <laughs> so, Benjakati Park, I came here um, on the invitation of Pete from Tyrish Times to do a video with him. And I'll put a few clips of that in. I expect when I go home tonight to, to edit this video, I'm going to find uh, Pete's video starring Charlie Hub will be posted and I'll put a few clips in this video as well. When I got to Benjakati Park, it brought back a lot of memories and prompted the topic of this video, which is you know, the people that I have met by way of social media, by way of YouTube, and the friends that I have made in the last 22 months since I've been regularly posting videos on YouTube and, and BitChute as well. I also post on another platform called BitChute. What prompted my thoughts about all the different people that I have met in this uh, YouTube experience over the last uh, 22 months uh, was visiting Benjakati Park. It's a lovely urban park, but the only time I had been here prior to shooting the video with Pete from Tyrish Times was when I came with my friend Paul. Now, Paul was a friend that I met here in Bangkok about five years ago, and he, be he and I became friends through my yoga practice. He was one of my students. He came and practiced yoga with me. I had four classes a week. He would be there for every class. He was a great student. He's a top athlete. He does a lot of other stuff other than yoga, and he looks fabulous. He and I became good friends, and that was my experience of, of uh, Benjakati Park prior to coming here to meet Pete. Now, while I did not meet Paul through YouTube, he is pertinent to this video because Paul was my inspiration to begin going out and doing serious uh, YouTube video. It was Paul's inspiration that had me begin doing YouTube videos in a, in a serious fashion. Because you see, Paul makes his living uh, pretty much out of YouTube. He has a channel, but he doesn't make money through the regular monetization process. His, he doesn't even monetize his, his videos. He attracts customers to another business through his YouTube channel. And I was just impressed with that, that somebody could, uh, could have that kind of success doing YouTube videos. Like so many other businesses around the world, in March of 2020, I had to close my yoga business. Came to an abrupt end. Well, I'm fortunate in that I didn't need that business to support myself. I have other income. And I uh, decided, hey, now's the time. Now's the time to, you know, get set up and buy a proper camera and go out and start shooting videos. And that's what I did. And over the last 22 months, the channel has grown modestly, you know, enough to, to keep me interested in doing it. It's the big payoff for me in doing these videos has been the people that I've met. One of the first people that I met, I, I, when I first started uh, doing vlogs on YouTube, I took a, a ride down to Pattaya uh, on the invitation of another YouTube guy who was meeting at a bar in Pattaya. And I went down there and there was a collection of, uh, of, of people who have, make YouTube videos along a lot of people are just plain old watch them. And it took place in a bar and the guy that ran the bar was a guy named Rodney. And I like Rodney right away. He has a really big personality. And what I particularly liked about Rodney is he's in the Pattaya bar business. He was managing this bar. And it was one of these, you know, kind of go in and hang out with the girl kind of bars. The kind that you expect to find in Pattaya. And uh, Rodney is in that world. And what I really liked about him is he's totally unabashed about his participation in that realm. He... He, he, he enjoys what he does, and I like authenticity. That's one of the things that I like about certain YouTube videos. The videos that I like to watch are usually ones where people appear to be just authentic about what they're presenting to people. And Rodney, if he's anything, is authentic. And he, have, he and I have stayed in touch since then. I haven't seen him that frequently, but we do message each other occasionally, and we stay in touch on social media. And next time I go down to Pattaya, I will certainly get in touch with them and visit them. I think they're back 
opening up again. I think the bars are reopened down there again. So I'll certainly go visit him if that's the case. Another YouTuber named Bill, his channel is Unseen Thailand Chiang Mai, was just somebody that I started corresponding with regularly. He's a retired uh, public safety worker like I am. Um, I was in the fire department. He was a, a, a sheriff. Uh, he was a police, police officer. And uh, that was in Tennessee. And he's now retired. He's been in Chiang Mai for quite a while. He's an old hand at the Thailand game. Uh, he's married to a Thai lady. And uh, he has a really pleasant channel where he just does walking tours of Chiang Mai. And Bill came down here and we met, had breakfast, had a nice little chat, and we became friends. I've since gone up there, just recently went up to Chiang Mai to, uh, to visit him in his hometown. And he was such a gracious host, taking uh, myself and, and another guy named Garini, yet another YouTuber who has a, a channel that I can't think of offhand, but his name is Greeny. So Greeny and Bill and I went traveling about the hills uh, around Chiang Mai, visiting really neat places. Another so anyway, you look at it, it was an arduous climb and I came up with my two buddies. Well, three actually, uh, Brian's son is taking the video, but it, you know, there are steps. It wasn't Mount Everest, but it was a hell of a climb for three old retired guys, two cops and a fireman. Somebody had to lead them. <laughs> it was the kid, too. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that Bill and I have in common is we both like photography, still photography. And I got some great shots up there with, with, with him of the, of, of the local uh, Hmong folks living in the hills up there. And they seem to be doing okay, which was good to see. They haven't seen any tourists either. But, you know, they're hill tribes. They know how to live without tourists. And uh, Bill and I have become good friends. So last but not least in my list of new uh, YouTube friends would be Pete from Tyrish Times, the gentleman that got me to come to Benjakati Park to begin with. That happened two days ago. Uh, we had a nice chat. He interviewed me and, uh, you know, for his channel. Really? Pete from Tyrish Times. How are you doing? Good to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, here I am making a video about making a video. <laughs> Behind with, the scenes. Behind the scenes, and this is the first time I'm ever going to be involved with a uh, two camera angles. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> How's that for ISO? <laughs> but the real value of that whole experience was meeting Pete. He's a, he's a young man, and one of the things that I want to do with my channel going forward is to uh, turn my camera away from me more often and start pointing it at younger people. You know, we baby boomers have had our day and I want to see what's going on with the younger generations. And that's something that I hope is reflected in my videos going forward. He asked me a question in the interview. He said, what would you uh, recommend to, uh, to young people? What, what kind of advice might I have uh, being an older guy for, for, for the younger folks? And it's not something I had thought, at pri thought about prior to the interview. Let me try to get the sun behind the Buddha here so, so you could see him. And, um, what I said to him is to uh, is that I, I recommend that you hold on to uh, to you know older ancient values, uh, and and I learned that here in Thailand because here in Ben Jakati Park, like all places Thai, you will see people uh, being reverential toward the Buddha story. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying be religious. I'm not. I'm a secular guy. I, I've been all my life. But what I've learned as I've grown over, older, and especially here in Asia, is that the, the stories, the myths, the legends that come out of these old traditions like Buddhism and others um, have value. And, and again, I'm not saying be a religious person. That's, that's not my gig. It's just that the values that come out of those ancient stories uh, are, are worthwhile and that's something that I that I that I saw in Pete from watching his videos he has some traditional values that have been instilled in him and it became evident in a uh, in a, in a video of his that I watched uh, and and how uh, it brought out a, a, a an incident in one of his videos uh, his 
his masculine values emerged very quickly in the conversation he was having. Uh, go watch the video. I'll, I'll link it in the description. Uh, he's a good guy. He's a good young guy. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I had a nice conversation with him, and you know, that's a uh, happy new year once again. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of my new year video here that I wanted to put up. I do already have a video complete on um, uh, crazy psychology, and I'll put that up in another couple of days. Uh, it, it's, uh, I hope you enjoy that. I put a lot of work into those videos. It's funny, I'm sitting on my butt for those videos. I'm, I'm in my home studio for the most part. So, you know, in some of the uh, crazy psychology videos, I did them out walking around. But in order to do them properly, I have to do a lot of work. I have to do a lot of research. I have to take a lot of notes and, you know, make sure I'm getting my facts straight. So there's a lot more work than, than these style of videos where I'm just talking about my experience and maybe, you know, a little bit about the, the, the environment around me. Uh, I do enjoy these videos, so I'm going to continue doing both. And um, uh, so, yeah, watch my crazy psychology video. And uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you would, please. If you're still here, I'd appreciate it if you do that. And uh, Happy New Year.